Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. Let's look at how we can find the equation of a straight line that goes through two points, such as one, two, and five comma three. Now let's remember what an equation is and versus the graph. The graph is a picture of the solutions to the equation. So we're gonna write down an equation where any solution, where any, um, xy pair that satisfies the equation um, is, is on this line. In particular, the slope between any point, so let's suppose we take like, you know, so any pair at all like xy, the slope between xy and 1, 2 will be the exact same as the slope between 5, 3 and 1, 2, slope being rise over run. So we can kind of think about that for a little bit. Rise, think of think about the rise from this point to this point is the difference in y values from two to three. That would be three minus two, which would be one. The run from this point to that point is a difference in x values from one to five, so five minus one, which is four. So the slope is one fourth between those two points, which should be the exact same as the slope between x, y, and one, two. So how do we compute the slope between x, y, and one, two? Well, we could take the difference of y values, y minus two, so we just subtract difference of x values, x minus one, and we think rise over run. y minus two over x minus one. This, in essence, is the equation, as long as we assume that x is not one, right? But we want that to be included, so we can get rid of the domain restriction simply by multiplying on both sides by x minus one. This is the equation of the line. Very fast to write this down. Now there's other e ways of doing this and other equations, but if you're not interested in simplification at all and you're only interested in writing down an equation, this is the faster way to go. Why? Right here's the slope. You see this one, two, that's a point. This is called the slope point form of a line. So if you know a point and a slope, you can automatically just write this down and you at least have an equation, even if it's not simplified. That is the advantage of the point slope form. Sometimes this is written as y minus y zero is equal to slope m times x minus x zero, where x zero comma y zero is a point on the line. Now keep in mind, this equation actually is the exact same as the equation that I could have if I, if I replace the point one, two with anything else, such as um, five, three, that would work as well. So here I could put five and I could put three, and this again would be the exact same equation of the line with point slope form. Thanks for watching.